Hey guys, it's Sash and I just want to update you guys on this incredible trophy push base that I built that allowed me to defend all the way to Titan and is possibly the best uh, trophy base I've ever built and I built a lot of trophy bases that are popularly used in uh, champions and Titan that you guys may see often while pushing. So this base is still going strong. As you can see from last night, I've won three straight defenses. I've won actually a total of 100 trophies in three consecutive defenses. Uh, and that's amazing. Um, I've lost two defenses recently, but that's only been one trophy lost because uh, most attackers are attacking me from really high leagues like Titan and they are attacking me from behind just for percentage points for the uh, exterior buildings on the outside. Obviously there's no defense against preventing people from one-starring you uh, using that method of just taking out your exterior building. So let's watch this defense. So as you can see, this attacker is going to attack me with Lava Lunin from the south and he's going to fail. He's going to fail very badly. This is one of the worst attacks I've seen a Titan 1 player do. But it's not his fault. It's uh, it's just that my base is designed to stop Lava Lunin uh, attackers attacking me from the south. As you can see those Lava Hounds got funneled towards the left and right and all the air defenses are up at top so those Lava Hounds are pretty useless in terms of shielding the balloons. While I have two air sweepers pointing south, blowing south, so even though even though I have my air sweepers at top, this base is incredibly powerful against Lava Lunian attacks coming in from the south. And that's gonna only land him around 24% with all of those troops. And he still has his level 40 Barbarian King and Queen left. Obviously, he's gonna have to go for the Town Hall. Um, other cheap attackers would just attack from behind if they have like at least 35% from Lava Hounds and um, Balloons. I call it cheap because uh, obviously there's no way to lose against that method. But this attacker tried going for the two stars and that's why he failed. Or he was probably thinking that my Town Hall was, um, was gonna be pretty easy to get. So he probably went for that but ended up failing pretty badly. Only 28%. Wouldn't even give me a shield um, in the new in the new metagame where uh, you gain a shield after 30%. So I wouldn't have even received a shield for that one. And uh, let's watch another one. This is from a Titan 2 player. The previous one was against a Titan 1 player. And what's amazing is that I have four cannons at the south upgrading. And it's still effective. It just also show how incredible this base is at defending. Um, and obviously, this game is heavily oriented towards offense. Everything revolves around offense. And that's why when you win a defense, you win big. You win a lot of trophies. And obviously, obviously there aren't really that many bases that, that can actually defend here in Titan. And uh, obviously, if there was a base that was this good, uh, there would be players up in legends from defense but no everyone relies on offense to push everyone just relies on attacking to gain their trophies and move up while always remaining online to avoid getting attacked on defense and not only that everyone copies bases everyone's a copycat so even though I, I've created this base you're gonna have a lot of copycats well not copycats I share all my bases to the public uh, for use so you're gonna see this uh, base commonly used and it is gonna change the game it is gonna change the metagame how we see base base designs uh, up in high trophy leagues people are gonna think of better ways to you know implement um, new ways of defending like the hidden gaps right here that caught many attackers off guard and allowed me allowed me to win so many trophies on defense and uh, let's look at the other one that I have recorded Okay, so this is gonna be a go wee wee attack with the earthquake spells at the south to remove those southern walls. And uh, you'd expect this attack to work, especially since the attacker is using four witches against two single target infernos. Uh, but still, no luck for him. He did manage to get pretty close, uh, but no luck. 
So as I was saying, this this game revolves heavily around offense. You just can't expect to win defenses, especially uh, attackers up here in Titan. You're not supposed to lose defense. You're not supposed to lose on offense. You're not supposed to lose attacks. As if you're losing an attack in like Titan one, like these players that are in Titan that are losing attacks against me. Uh, they're gonna have to make up for it by playing for hours or days, uh, days of playtime to to make up for their loss. So it's, it's it's so you can't really do that. You're not supposed to lose here. Yet this base is still stopping these attackers. It's winning, and that's incredible. A lot of people don't understand how amazing it is for a base to defend and win up here in, in on defense in Titan League. Okay, check this out guys. While I was narrating and uh, recording uh, those videos, I got attacked on defense and I've won again. As you can see, 33 trophies and this attacker was in Titan 2 attacking me with this composition consisting of golems and he also used giants while I was watching that live replay. And giants are very effective against this base because of the two single target infernos. Unlike golems, golems are very weak to single target infernos but the reason giants are very effective against single target infernos is because uh, there are more giants, you're using more giants. Six giants uh, equal one golem in terms of housing space. So you would expect this attacker to win because of that, but still, this base still defended against this attack. I also have four cannons at, at, at the south upgrading, and I still managed to win. Uh, this attacker did get a little close, but not close enough. So I have a lava hound right there distracting the archer queen those giants are doing very good however they are going to be pulled in uh, by the defenses that are inside the walls and they're going to be taken out pretty quickly i have lava hounds distracting uh, and then i have my single target inferno so here the archer queen's at like 40 percent and is targeting the town hall but she already activated her ability because lava hounds are very good in terms of that uh, forcing the archer queen to use her ability when she's being targeted by a lava hound so again another defense win against the tie-in two player and i'm just still winning a lot of defenses and i've all also surpassed 4200 trophies so i'm going to continue defending just because uh i just want to know like how far that i can actually go on defense using this base uh so hope you guys enjoyed watching this and i'm going to keep you guys up to date on my progress with this base uh so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe if you haven't and also I'm going to post the link to this, uh, this to this base, the base build and also the information thread so you can build the base and also learn more about it. Also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so I'll see you guys again soon later.